YouTube, guys, 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 it's live. I literally just got done. I was just about to leave the house. Just about to leave the house. And you know what happens? We get a ban list posting, guys. I, 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 I'm speechless. Literally, we, we got the ban list. About to do a fresh live reaction because I'm hearing some wild stuff. I'm going to let some people get in here because, boys, I just, I'm speechless. I'm actually just speechless. I, I really don't know what else to do. So, I'm, I got to retitle this stream real quick. Yu-Gi-Oh! Ban list is out. Hashtag live reaction. <laughs> uh that that's all that matters like ban list is out live reaction um Yu-Gi-Oh ban list we need a thumbnail first and foremost and, and it literally everybody's going on the site okay so people are sending it to me right now i can't even get on the site Let, let's see okay so we got it here guys we, we just need a picture because this is wild it's courtesy of uh of konami naturally we gotta give, give me a second here guys i don't even want to look at it yet we're just gonna go downloads put that there Change the thumbnail. Guys, I, I, I literally, I cannot believe I just posted a ban list prediction slash discussion video. And all of a sudden, we have the ban list. All right, guys. So, the ban list is out. Forbidden. Samsara Lotus. Um. What? Ah. Samsara Lotus. From Phantom Darkness, during the end phase, if you control no spell or trap cards, you can special summon this card from your graveyard and face up attack position. This card's control takes a thousand damage during each other's standby phases. Is there like some new wombo combo with this? That oh, okay, 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 guys, here it is. All right, so we don't even have to use that. So Samsara Lotus, first thing banned. I, I don't know why. I guess there's some new like plant thing with it. I did see a couple pictures of this earlier throughout the week. I'm not really sure why, but Samsara Lotus. Nightmare Goblin. Boys, I was telling you guys about this. If they didn't ban Firewall Dragon, it looks like it's the only link here. Firewall Dragon is still legal. Nightmare Goblin is forbidden. And oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Effective from September 2017. Yes! Boyos! This is legal for the 200th YCS. I am so juiced. I was this close to considering canceling my flight. Oh, Lord, I am hyped, boys. All right, all right, keep going. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we got Goblin, so no Firewall, no Gumblar. Those were some of my other predictions of stuff that I would like to see banned. I still don't like the fact the Firewall is not banned. I'm not okay with it, but at the very least, I'll take Goblin uh, getting hit. That does hurt Gokies. That does hurt Spirals. That does hurt basically everything that involves Nightmares. I don't know, guys. I'm like... I'm I'm partially stunned here at like the the fact that they dropped this just now, but MX Saber Invoker. Oh, I can't believe I missed this. I literally can't believe I missed this on my banless discussion because this was on my mind. They banned MX Saber Invoker finally. All right, guys. So MX Saber Invoker was the like centerpiece of so many different degenerate combos, and honestly, I think it's a really good hit because this and Goblin in conjunction with one another is a huge huge hit and the reason specifically why invoker's big is now this deck can't gokies aren't able to just play a ton of extenders a ton of just cards like junk forward and instant fusions and all this other stuff just make mx saber invoker to essentially play through hand traps and then follow up with a sold or vice versa so this is a really big hit mx saber invoker being banned i think this has been a long time coming for this card i think this card uh, definitely deserved to be banned um like in past formats, maybe not so much this format, but definitely I can see where they're coming from. I, I like this. I'm, I'm on board with MX Saber Invoker Band. All right, only three cards banned. So again, Samsara Lotus, Nightmare Goblin, and MX Saber Invoker. All right, guys, limited to one. We got A Assault Core. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. A Assault Core, guys, what? What? Since when is ABC relevant? Is it because it's the is there's some some stupid loop? Okay, I accidentally just read down. Guys. No. Lord and Savior has graced us, boys. We got to change this the name. Stratos has returned, boys. Elemental Hero Stratos. I I'm 
I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, guys, I, I feel like I'm getting pranked. Is this a prank? Is this actually a prank? Elemental Hero Stratos, my friend, my lord and savior. I, I, I literally was just looking at like a stack of him like an hour and a half ago. Stratos is officially unbanned, boys. No more memes. My man Stratos returns. Hero players rejoice. I can make a Teledad deck. Lit! Um, guys, Stratos is unbanned. I know all the hero players are hyped. Honestly, though, part of me feels like this might low-key be a mistake just because I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in the OCG. Yeah, Goblin is banned, but Firewall's still legal. Like, there's... Oh, guys. Stratos, after all these years... Oh, my friend. My lord and savior. All right, Stratos, guys. All right, what we got next was... Oh, my God. It was forbidden. What is this? Morphing Jar. My favorite flip, one of my favorite flip effect monsters by far. That GK Spy and a couple other monsters. Morphing Jar unbanned. Guys, this, this is real life. Oh, boys, we get to play that Jar Dot deck. I'm kidding. I Honestly, so Morphing Jar, I feel like in today's meta, I don't think it has any place. But I just think it was banned because of like all the crazy M Jar deck out type strategies. It is my favorite flip effect monster, like, in general. Like, it's insane. That, Mask of Darkness, GK Spy, like, all those classic flip effect monsters, I love them to death. And Morphing Jar being unbanned. Like, I don't think this is going to find really any place in competitive meta anytime soon, but... Dude, I, I can literally see Ultra Rare Morphing Jars doubling in price because of this. Because they're also legal now. Like, this is insane. Like, I have copies of, like, Ultra Rare Morphing Jar from TP, uh, from Tournament Pack. I have super copies... This is insane, like, Morphing Jar, like, guys, Morphing Jar is probably like a three, four hundred dollar ultra right now, look at, look at this, let's look it up on TCG Player, this is actually wild, like, I am so beyond hyped and juiced, like, you guys don't even know right now, like, alright, high, price high to low, Ultra Morphing Jar, lightly played, 375, lightly played, uh, there's, is there even any, any mints, guys, is there any mint copies of this? There's no mint copies on, T on TCG Player. Oh my god. Damn. MJ, my man Michael Jordan Morphing Jar back, boys. Woo! I don't think you guys know I hyped down for this. Alright. Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. Limited to one, boys. I called this literally like an hour ago when I filmed my thing. I was like, Fire uh, Elemental Hero. Or not Elemental Hero, Stratus. Guys, my thoughts are all over the place. Alright. Elemental, ah, heavy metal foes, Electromite, limited to one, no more wild pendulum stuff, I don't know man, like, I, c I don't want to say I called it, but this card should have been at one a long time ago, in my opinion, this card is insane, one of the best link monsters and best pendulum cards ever printed, Electromite, I gotta give a, a shout out to my man Triff Gaming on Sam's channel, this is, oh, this is insane, alright guys, we got metal foes, Electromite, limited to one, I don't know, he's got to come up with something mighty nasty now, my man Triff Gaming. I've never collabed with him, I think I saw him once at Nats, but we didn't really get a chance to talk, so maybe I'm challenging my man Triff Gaming to come up with some wild Electromite dot deck. Guys, what do we got next? Cyframe Lord Omega to 1. What? You know what? I kind of see that. I can, I can kind of understand where Konami's coming from. Um, I know there's like a lot of weird zombie strategies out there, there's a lot of like... Like I said earlier when I was talking about um, Gumblar Dragon in my video that I posted like an hour ago, Cyframe Lord Omega is one of those cards that hits your hand. I, I never really liked that concept. Um, at one, I think it's perfectly fine. I think it's fair. It's a generic eight. It's a really powerful card. Um, this definitely hurts Cyframes for sure by themselves. Uh, but outside of that, you're not really going to see like any wild strategies. I mean, I don't know if someone's going to come up with any like Cyframe loop in the future with this, but... Uh, Cyframe Lord Omega to one. I, I think this is okay. I I don't think it was doing too much right now in the meta. I mean, maybe people were like people were playing Gamma and Driver, but they weren't even using it for that. It was literally just to answer hand traps, and then also answer the Goki boards. Um, but they were also just using it to link. So I, I don't know, guys. Like Cyframe Lord Omega, limited to one. That's kind of insane. All right. No. Woo! Boys, we gotta get it. Hold up. Hold up. I got I gotta get the band box. I gotta get it. Guys, we got my man's, the fresh man's, Evil Swarm Exiton Knight. Let me find you, baby. Let me, oh, woo. Baby, baby, come back. Baby, come back. 
We got my man Exiton Knight. Oh. Boys, you don't even know. The slurpage is real. I got to do like some ASMR right here real quick. Some ASMR with my man Exiton Knight. I've wanted this card back actually for a while. I think it rewards skilled play. I like cards like this because they warp the game in a way, just like Heavy Storm did back in the day. Every player has access to this card, so um, it doesn't like you're not really going to be OTKing much um, through this if you use it initially, because obviously, like, you don't initially get, uh, what is it? You don't take further damage this turn, so if they do it immediately, you're not going to be able to kill you. They're going to have to do, like, battle, like, damage stuff and then main phase two stuff. But Exiton Knight is a really cool card, warps the game in such a unique way. I, I'm on I'm on board with this card being back guys Exiton Knight is back this is like I don't even I don't even I don't know what what's gonna happen like moving forward but all right guys a hero lives at one. Oh, you know what that kind of makes sense why Stratos came back they put hero lives to one all right I can see that that kind of makes sense Rhoda's at one hero lives is at one it's a pretty un, like unfair uh, spell enabler slash starter card hero lives um i mean it had a hefty cost half your life points but they got stratos back like guys you either had stratos or you had hero lives at three like honestly i, I feel like you guys really wanted stratos back so we got stratos back boys yo what is this card destruction was forbidden yo <laughs> oh memeage they brought back card destruction. I don't know how I feel about this. Why is card destruction back? Konami, what are you doing? Everything else, like, so far, I'm on the edge. I don't even know. Guys, we're still at the limited to one section. Lord. Lord have mercy. Guys, card destruction was forbidden. I don't know. Did they do this for danger in the TCG? Is that why they also brought back Morphing Jar? They want dangers and sub tears to play this. Are they going to give us Guru soon? Like... I don't know what's up with all these flip effects and destruction, uh, hand destruction type cards, but man, card destruction being back, that card's broken. Like that card's insane. It's one of my classic favorite spells. That was the one of the first. That was actually like the first hollow spell card I ever got out of the original Yugi starter deck. Card destruction is back, guys. I can see this card being splashed into so many decks. Um, dangers for sure can definitely use the abuse this card like no other. Well, not abuse it, but use it in general. This card is. I don't know how I feel about it at one, man. Card destruction, like, this is one of those cards that, I, you know what? It's going to be interesting to see this card if it's splashing a lot of stuff because this card can kind of counter all the hand trap usage and handicap decks. So, I don't know. It's going to be weird to see this. It is inherently a minus one. So, we'll see. Like, card destruction has some cool interactions. But, guys, let's just keep going because, okay, okay, what do we got? Let me, let me scroll down really lightly. New. Sky Striker, uh, Hornet Drones. Guys, Hornet Drones is at one. I called it, guys. Hornet Drones at one. All right, I don't know if Engage is on this list, but we got Hornet Drones at one. I feel like a lot of people were saying this because this is the splashable part. Engage isn't as splashable as Hornet. Um, but let's keep going. We got Super Polymerization back. Super Polymerization. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Super Polly, are you listening to this, boys? I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm in disbelief. Super Polly, Stratos, Morphing Jar thus far, Card Destruction, Exiton. Bro, I feel like Konami was just like me. I got this box of, like, banned cards right here. I feel Konami just shook this up, stuck their hand in there, and just pulled a bunch of cards out and said, Hey, Exiton Knight, um, Card Destruction. Let's just mix it up. Oh, we pulled out some Super Polly's. Let's do that, too. Super polys. I'm pretty sure I got some super polys up in here. Why would you bring back super polymerization? It is a spell speed four card. What are you thinking? This literally, this cards like that should not exist competitively or casually, even less so at one. What is the why would you ever bring back super poly? It's not it's not that it's like the best card ever printed. It's just that it's spell speed four. That makes no sense to me. Like, I literally don't understand why. That makes zero sense. Right, it looks like that's the end of the limited to one section, guys. So we'll go on to the second part and then we'll recap everything for those of you guys that missed it. But I'm in disbelief. I'm not seeing Engage or anything like that at one. Oh my God, guys. I, I, need, I need some drink right here. I need some aloe because, woo, I'm sweating here, boys. This is insane. Super poly at one, guys. That becomes a sack card. Like, 
I don't even think you, like, I'm sure there's some kind of, well, no, I don't think you can search it. The other polymerization cards, it's not polymerization, it's super polymerization. So, I don't think you can search this. I could be wrong, but bottom line, it's a spell speed 4 card. This card should not exist in any game. Like, we should not have something that breaks the mechanics of the game. Like, I'm actually aggravated by this in card destruction thus far, and a little bit of Stratos, but more so this. But, let's keep going. All right, what do we got, guys? Limited to two. Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Woo! I know my Cosmo fans out there are beyond happy. I'm not a Cosmo fan, so I'm going to leave it at that. But I'm going to just say Cosmo Dark Destroyer. I don't like boss monsters that are big, pop cards, and can't be targeted. I'm not a fan of it, but as long as this deck stays in its place, I'm cool with it. Cosmo Dark Destroyer, guys, I don't know. I don't know, but it wasn't, the deck wasn't doing nothing, but I, I don't know, man. I know a lot of people can be hyped. Smash that like button, boys. We, we, you know we're going to be doing deck profiles as soon as this ban list drops tomorrow. Like, it's wild. The list doesn't go into effect till this Monday, but whatever. Called by the Grave is at two. You know what? That's kind of cool. I was playing two in most decks anyway. I think this is kind of crazy because... Call by the Grave was really abused or used in every single combo deck, specifically Gokis as a 3 of, because you just used it to play through hand traps. I'm okay with this. This is cool. Like, a card like this, I think it becomes more of a utility card now. Combo decks will still use it, most likely. It's an interesting spell to put to 2. I'm okay with that. Called by the Grave at 2. What do we got? Limited to 2. Li limiter removal? W why? Why limiter removal to 2? That doesn't make any sense to me. If anything, that card should have gone to zero. Like, I don't like that. Like, you shouldn't just be able to just pump up your stuff, double attack, and just kill your opponent. What is this for Cyber Dragon support? Is this Cyber Dragon support? Like, oh, Lord. Guys, you guys, you guys are killing me here. Y'all are literally killing me, Konami. Really? Limit or removal to two? Uh, whatever. Keep going. Scapegoat to two. Why? Why not just ban it or put it? Like, I don't like it at one because then it's a sack card. I guess they met a medium ground but putting it at two so you have you can see it less, but <sighs> scapegoat to two. Alright, cool. Scapegoat to two. I they can Dex can still play it. Terraforming. At two. People thought that should go to one. I guess at two it kind of hinders uh consistency. I guess that kind of hurts spirals. Um I guess it hurts Sky Strikers. They have one less terraforming to put in their deck, but most people playing two to three anyway, so it's fine. You got two. Um, I'm not seeing Engage on here, so I, I don't think Engage was touched. All right, guys. At three, Apocalyphort Towers is at three. My man Towers, give it up, boys. Hashtag 911. Uh, 911 was an inside job. My man Towers over here. Draco sack dot deck. <laughs> I'm joking. That was totally a joke. That was so inappropriate. But my man Apocalyphort Towers at three. Destiny Hero Disc Commander. I was forbidden. Disc Commander's back. I forgot to mention this actually because uh, this commander just got an errata and it you can't use it. It's a graveyard effect to, to summon itself back and draw two cards the turn that it's sent to the grave. And you can only use that draw effect once per duel, I believe it is. So basically once per game. So this card being back at three is absolutely fine. Um, I don't really see any issue with it. Um, I know that I forget what that card was that like Foolish Barrel something. I think it's that new uh, shooting riser dragon. That could kind of be useful with this because you can't use it that turn anyways. Um, that's an interesting concept. Burial from a different dimension was semi-limited at three. That's really cool for zombies or any kind of like banish strategy. Uh, Burial from a different dimension at three. It used to be one of my favorite one. My actual, it used to be my favorite minus one uh, quick play spell because I used it back in the day with zombies during zombie lights run format back in 2009. Burial from a different dimension is at three. It's not really used in any deck right now competitively. That's kind of cool. And then finally... Ring of Destruction was semi-limited at three. That doesn't really matter. Guys, there's so many things that could have happened. Let's recap because I'm still stunned. I'm still stunned right now. Like, I'm in disbelief. I'm in utter disbelief. Firewall Dragon's still a thing. Goblin was hit okay, I guess. Engage is still at three, but that's fine. They hit Hornet Drones to one. That seems like a fair hit, a trade-off. They keep consistency of Engage and draw power, but Hornet goes to one, so it's not really splashable in other engines. I need, I need a breath here, guys. My man's, my man's Exiton, my man's Stratos, my man's Morphing Jar. They all back 
back, baby. Back. I'm so hyped right now. I don't I don't even know what I'm playing for the YCS now. Like, is it gonna be pure? Is it gonna be some some lingering Goki deck? Is Tricks Trick Stars was untouched other than Other than um Terraforming and Scapegoat. Dude, Trick Stars went absolutely untouched. Candina didn't get touched, Licorice didn't get touched, uh Light Stage didn't get touched, Reincarnation didn't get touched, Konami, are y'all tripping? Like that's like what like it's not a good deck it's a bad deck but it's a deck that people play because of time like you gotta hit that like what's wrong with you like that's not okay like i was pretty sure cer certain that at least like the consistency was gonna get hit in some shape or form or they were just gonna hit reincarnation in general like that was just gonna be it why would you not at least hit reincarnation that doesn't make sense to me but yeah little recap we gotta go back so secondary thoughts because now i just okay I, I need to collect my thoughts guys okay whoo whoo all right, guys, so Samsara Lotus, this thing, I guess, was relevant. I guess there's some, like, loop that they know about that I don't know about. I don't know. You guys probably know, like, I'm not even reading this. I I'm doing a recap right now, guys. I'm going to do a full, like, link thing tomorrow, but we, 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 I'm going to start doing deck profiles as soon as this is over, like, tomorrow, tonight. Guys, send me deck profiles, and I will post them up if they're a good template using the new ban list. Send me everything. I'll do my best to post them up. Um, but anyways, let's recap. So, Samsara Lotus, right? My man Samsara Lotus, banned. All right, cool. I don't really know the, the combo behind that. Nightmare Goblin, rest in peace, my man Goblin. You prevented my monsters from being targeted. You, were, or my, you gave me free draws. You gave me the brilliant fusion engine in my extra deck in one card. Amazing. Honestly, I, I could still see, like, the fact that Gokis still have Sorceress and Firewall Dragon is beyond me. And they still have Gumblar. I I'm telling you guys, I think Gokis are still like the best deck right now. Like just looking at this, Gokis are by far the still best deck. Like I'm just looking at it, like Goblin being hit, okay, sure, that hurts quite a bit. But you have Firewall and, and Sorceress. Like this is bananas to me. Let's keep going. Um, again, Invoker, you don't have all those extenders. You can't like just play through hand traps all willy nilly, but... This is uh this is a good hit. Is sold is still a thing, obviously. Is sold is still legal, so you can still do your thing. Divine sword is still legal, no problems there. You can still d uh, dump for all your other guys. Like you're not gonna be able to do it for your for goblin, but you still have Cerberus. You still have thing. Honestly, Gokis could just play the Brilliant Fusion Engine if you ask me. Like I I did that before, like when the deck was still first kind of coming up in popularity. It wasn't bad at all. Like yeah, you got to play more cards in your deck uh, in terms of like potential brick cards like Garnet, but it's cool. Like. I think that's still like a viable option guys the unbanned stuff is still really what stuns me like they just randomly put a assault core to one like i don't know if this is a mistake i don't know if there's some crazy wombo loop with this i don't know if they just don't like abcs i don't know like y'all gotta tell me like why why is a assault core at one like be it, like they can still make buster one time i i guess kind of well not one time but if they bring it back it's fine but Point being, why is Assault Core at one? I, I don't get it. Um, Stratos, Morphing Jar, and Exiton at one, and Card Destruction. Guys, I, I can't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Konami has been doing a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? Like the little, the good good. I live in California, so a lot of my friends would know about that. Not me, but all my friends, as soon as they see this list, they're going to be like, hey, we hooked it up. Konami, Konami you got to hook it up, man, because y'all been smoking that good, good. <sighs> Stratos is unbanned, guys. I, oh, my God, Stratos. Stratos and Morphing Jar. Like, I know Morphing Jar is going to be less impactful. I don't know if there's going to be some crazy Morphing Jar deck out. There's too many hand traps, I think, for it to be relevant. Like, I don't think Morphing Jar being unbanned is a thing, like, matters, but... The fact that it could theoretically exist in some shape or form as a jar deck out deck. Shout out to my man Paul Cooper. Empty jar Cooper. This this card's back. Electromite at one. Honestly, like I said, go, and, and like recollecting my thoughts about Pendulum, uh, I still stand by what I said. Like Pendulums, guys, like I'm glad that they got hit. Like I'm glad Pendulums took a hit with Electromite being at one. Like they still they could still play with one Electromite. Like a lot of people could like think that they can't. They could can still play with one Electromite. It's just that if they can't do all their stuff, like they can't do all the crazy like triple Electromite plays, um, they could probably still end with like the Odd Eyes guy and you know whatnot. Like they still have Jackal. They still have all their other stuff. So Electromite at one, that's a good hit in my opinion. But Exiton, 
I don't know. This is weird because, like, Gokis can play this card easily, but so can every other deck. So I guess it gives them another option to clear boards. Um, the problem, like, all the, like, if you're playing Goki, uh, against Gokis and they just make Cerberus, you can't even Exiton them. So Exiton, like, Cerberus, like, there's still a lot of ways to kind of deal with it. But I do like Exiton. Um, I think you actively have to play around this card now if you're playing against uh, decks that can make it. Um, I think this is a good check and balance as well against uh, Altergeist to an extent. It's not bad against Pure Sky Strikers. It's good against Gokis if you can deal with Cerberus. Um, Spirals can make this. Uh, they can also, like, the Spirals can obviously make this. Um, I don't know. Like, the extra deck is really, really tight. I mean, Goblin being hit to zero is uh, a big thing. I mean, that's one space. I guess you could just replace it. But nonetheless, card destruction, man. Like, I feel there's so many other cards. Like, look at this. How is card destruction back at one? Or, but then, right above that, my man, Book of Moon. The book that I read every night before bed is still at zero, is still at one. Like, let me know. Like, stuff like that doesn't make sense to me. Link summoning, we can't, we can't even play Canadia in Paleos because setting stuff is impossible. So, why not just bring Book of Moon back to two or three? Why is stuff like this still at one? Like, there's so many other things they could have done, but like, this is a list I was just... I'm stunned. I'm literally stunned. And then Hero lives at 1 because Stratos is at 1. Why? Just... Why? I don't know, man. Hornet Drones again. Recap at 1. I was really starting to like Pure Sky Strikers. You gotta take out the 3 Hornets now. It's basically a Ray Dot deck. I think the deck is still play, to be honest with you. I mean... It's, it's definitely... The consistency is just... I oh, don't know, man. And the ceiling is really low. Like, it's, it's weird. It is weird with one drones, dude. Like, I don't know. So, oh, Soul Charge is still a thing. But Super Polymerization. Oh. Super Polymerization, guys, is back. I don't know what you guys think about Super Poly. But if you guys have ever played in the age of Super Polymerization, like... It's, it's not fun, man. Getting Super Polyed and there's no single card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh that you can play that can stop that card. Not one card in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh can stop Super Polymerization. Think about that. I don't know, guys. Cosmo Dark Destroyer again at two. Um, I don't like this because I feel someone's going to try and use this and it's going to be obnoxious to play against because I don't like big monsters that can't be targeted and uh, have floating effects and they destroy and they're big beat sticks. I don't like this at all. I would I was cool with it at one, but... Whatever, they got Cosmo Dark Destroyer at 2. Call by the Grave at 2, I'm cool with it. Limiter I don't like to 2, I should have just stayed at 1. Um, Scapegoat at 2 and Terraforming at 2. I guess it hurts some deck's consistency, but... I don't know, man. Like The 3 stuff, Towers, Discommander because of the Errata, Burial, and Ring. All these cards at 3, like, that's fine. Burials at 3 is cool. I guess that's more consistency for decks that play it, I suppose. But Disc... Destiny Hero Disc Commander is one of my all-time favorite monsters. I even think I have some in here. Like, Let's check my band box because I totally just started unsorting this. But look at this, guys. We got Stratos on deck here. Like, We got Exiton Knight. We got like everything. Like, This is why you guys should always collect band cards. Like, This isn't even all my band stuff. This is just like some band cards that I just have like labeled band. Like, So many band cards. And I, I, where am I? Look at that. More Stratoses. Like, super rare Stratoses. Oh, here we go, baby. The Disc Commanders. The Disc Commanders. One of my all-time favorite super rares. We got morphing jars, of course. Like, oh, and here's here's the card. Here's the card that I guarantee is gonna be the bane of a lot of people's existence. Where is it? I just saw it. I literally just saw it. Come here. Uh, where the hell is it? I just saw it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I got you guys. This, guys. I know these are gonna sell, baby. Some secret rare super polys. Come get them while they hot, boys. We about to list these on that fresh TCG player. You know them hero players are going to be hungry for this. Look at this. Discard a card. Send from your side of the, either side of the field uh, to the great fusion material monsters are listed. Wait, hold up. You're telling me we got super poly back, but we didn't get my man construct? We got this back, but no construct. Y'all tripping. Y'all are whack, man. Come on. That don't make no sense at all. I don't know, man. I gotta decompress. Like, <sighs> whoo! I, let me read some of you guys' comments because you guys have been commenting, but I haven't had time to read everything. Stratos is free. Why are you unsleeving Gokis as we speak? Gokis is still insane. You have Firewall Dragon. You have uh, Summon Sorceress. Who cares if you don't have Goblin? Are you tripping, dog? Like, that deck is still insane. 
Um, Invoker is banned. Yeah, that, that sucks too, but whatever. Oh my god. I, I really don't understand how they just did not hit Trick Stars. How they did not ban Firewall Dragon. How did they... Like, there's so many things they could have done that they chose not to do. Like, I'm sure Jerome McHale and, Boy and Robert Boyajan are probably just sitting there, like, twiddling their thumbs. Like, whoo hoo hoo we'll, we'll show them. Let's, let's put this uh, Super Poly back to one. That'll show them. Let's give them Stratos back. That'll show them. Exit on Night and Card Destruction and Morphing Jar. Genius. Gen this is like... You guys know those memes where the brain is, like, getting bigger? Like, it's, like, the next level thinking. The, like, the top one is, like, Firewall Dragon Band. The next one is Goblin. Then the last one, the last, the next one is like Stratos. Then the next one is like Car Destruction, Morphing Jar, Exiton, and Stratos ban back. Like, unbanned. Like, what? Oh. ABC, like, why is eight Assault Core at one? I don't get it. I don't know, man. Terraforming at two is random. Like, Brilliant Fusion is still a thing, but, go but Goblin is going to zero. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, th now they're just going to play Brilliant Fusion. I'm telling you, that's exactly what's going to happen. If anything, in some cases, Brilliant Fusion can be better other than consistency because you literally just play it you get free monsters and you get the normal summon it's, it's, it's almost better than goblin in some ways um i don't know man this is wild uh crusade alter geist and crusadio were untouched yeah goki's still definitely tier one like guys i don't know i don't know man this is y'all gotta tell me what y'all think about this because this is just I need some air, man. I gotta, I gotta open up a window or something, cause this is. I'm reading your stuff, but like, Trick Stars is still a thing. That doesn't make sense to me at all. Like, I w I'm sick of Trick Stars. I don't know about y'all, but I'm sick of losing the Trick Stars in time or just like struggling and rushing because they can burn me because I can just play my deck. Like, I shouldn't lose because I'm playing my deck. I should lose because you're beating me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yes, yeah, Hero lives at one. I guess it's to balance out the Stratos thing. I don't know. Limit removal at two. That's weird. That's just weird to me. That shouldn't be a thing, man. Uh, pfft, Evil Swarm. I, it's not the Evil Swarm are full power. They just got Exiton Night Band got, uh, Unlimited, guys. Or not Unlimited, but to one. Like, that's that's crazy to me. Like, y'all got to tell me what y'all think, like, right now. Like, comment. Like, post your comments what you guys think about that. Like, Danger and Card Destruction, yes. Profit. Profit Card Destruction, literally. I don't understand how this card is back. I, I really don't understand. I can see random decks just splashing this outside of danger. Literally, just any deck. Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, guys, what else? Is Yes, guys, this is all real. This is all real. Oh, man. God. Super Poly at 1 is definitely a sack card. That's just... Oh, my God. I oh, don't know, guys. I really don't know. Lair of Darkness field spell plus super poly equals free starving venoms, I, I guess. I don't know. Time to meme at locals. Neos with super poly. This is legit the worst ban. Dude, this ban list I felt could have been so much better and they didn't really kill Gokis. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. They didn't really, they didn't touch trick stars. I don't want to hear it. Scapegoat and terraforming at two, that is nothing. That means nothing. But you have everything else. Come on, man. Like, that deck can also use Firewall because the Lily Bell combo, the stupid Lily Bell combo, they can just kill you through it. That's the dumbest thing ever. Disc Commander doesn't matter if it's at three because it got an errata, so I think it's fair. It's fair. I'll leave Disc Commander. I should have mentioned that earlier in my video if you guys saw it earlier, but... Oh, my God, man. How is Firewall Dragon still limited? I just don't get it. They better change the card text or something on it, man. Or you can only use one of those effects per game once. Like... I don't know, guys. I'm just trying to read through you guys' comments here and see what you guys think about the ban list because this is just wild. I mean, look at this. Exiton Knight. He, like, Card Destruction. Stratos. Morphing Jar. Woo! Max, someone's saying, Max, like, Trickstar is even stronger now. I, I don't know, man. Trickstar inherently, like, everything else got hit, but they didn't really touch Trickstar. Like, y'all tripping, man. That's... Oh no, this is this is not a very good list in my opinion. This is like a weird list. I hope it becomes better as time goes on, but this is a list I'm not okay with. Yes, I'm okay with any change by the 200th, but guys, this is... I don't know, man. I don't know. Woo! Like, what is this? Let's see. That's why I want ban. That's what I want ban. Brent Fusion, yeah. Two Assault Cores and Infinite Summon Loop of Firewall. I know that, but like still, like... Regardless, that's stupid. Like, 
the assault stuff it really wasn't doing as much like yes it's something that should probably be addressed but why not just hit firewall just ban firewall oh my god man like I, I I don't think like I don't think they should just ban cars that firewall breaks. Firewall definitely deserves to be banned. But like for sure, I don't care what you say. Firewall needs to be banned. You can keep doing that second effect as much as you want per turn. That's is that's the stupidest thing. I I don't know, man. Yada Grassi could have came back before all this stuff happened. Honestly, Yada sucks. Secret Exiton uh, went back up to twenty in one sec. The ban list came out. Yeah, let's check, guys. Let's see. Uh, Evil Swarm. Exiton night. Oops. Exciton. Am I spelling it wrong? Oh no. Let's just type this in. Hopefully I'm typing this right. Because I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, or let's just type in Evil Swarm. Here we go. Here we go. Evil Swarm Exiton night. And Samsar Lotus. Someone's got to tell me why that thing got hit. But I don't know, man. I need some air. I need some air after this ban list. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna play for the YCS 200th. Emergency ban list. We need one, boys. Like, this ain't even an emergency ban list. This is like, if this is go, if my hand is Gokis, this is Konami. That's it. That's it. I sold still a thing. Like, Trick Stars are still a thing. Like, I oh, don't know, man. I don't know. Y'all gotta drop some thumbs up on this video or something. Like, comment below what, what y'all think. Like, I uh, don't oh know, guys. I oh don't know. Y'all gotta tell me what's up. I, I'm I'm done, guys. I'm done. I can't talk no more about this. This is... I'm gonna start making deck profiles. Post your decks that you guys want me to do in the comments tomorrow. But I'm gonna do a, uh, a market watch tomorrow. Probably some deck profiles coming up this week. It's the 200th YCS next week. Trick stars are still, still a thing. Uh, Gokies are still a thing. I oh, don't know, man. I don't know. We got to figure out some dueling book testing starts tonight, boys. That's all we got to talk about. End of stream. I love you guys. Thumbs up. Uh, drop a donation. Drop whatever. I'll see you guys next time.